Good afternoon, Strat fans. Colonel Strat, the strategy extraordinaire here. How are y'all doing this evening? So, um, today we're going to be doing part three of my Empire Let's Play. So, we left off the last, um, the last episode in a bit of a precarious spot. Um, we got Kazrak, the one eye over here, eyeing us down. Though his, his army isn't the most higher tier because we are in, on only turn nine. The Razorgore Chariots and the Minotaurs are going to be a problem if if they can catch us out in the open. The but I feel like Carl, with his um, with Dragon Tooth and my Jade Wizard here, might be just enough to beat him. I think I might be able to catch him before he goes back into ambush stance because he isn't raiding. So I'm going to try to catch him. Um, trying to build up um, Reichland while we're at it. And maybe after we deal with Kazrak, we can go take take care of the orcs at the Black Pit. I feel like taking that, and then maybe Lawnlord Forest will help us build towards dealing with Festus over here. Alright, so, <clears throat> with that being said, let's see if James Volkman can recruit anybody. No, we, end, we ended last turn very, very low on the budget. So we'll just leave him there, and then we'll end turn. All right, so our goal is going to try to catch Kazrak out in the open. Um, see, the beastmen have these beast paths, and they have a natural stalking stance like Skaven, so they can... They can oh, okay. Well, <laughs> he just caught us. <laughs> uh, AI isn't the smartest on normal difficulty, but when I play this on a harder campaign, he probably wouldn't do that. All right, so let's deal with this, this guy. Alright, should be an easy, that easy victory, since I have a garrison. Down. Yeah, decisive. And we'll mop up Kazrak, get some treasury, um, beast scourge. I mean, yeah, that's that's alright. Not the best trait in the world. But he'll be knocked out of the, of the game for a little while, so that's, that's only going to be good for us. Alright, and then we, Carl got some here. more levels. We'll finish out his line here, but stand your ground. Um, he's got his bartered warhorse. We wanna once he gets Deathclaw, he's pretty much unstoppable with all of his with all his uh, special items as well. Reduce the miscast chance, increase magic reserves. All right, good old Hans here is pretty good. Yes, to unite the provinces. All right, so. Um, <laughs> that kind of just dealt with itself. So let's, uh, in fact, I think, Proceed. hmm, they how's Marienburg look? Okay. I might be able to take Marienburg. Let's try. Let's try, let's try to take Marienburg. Okay. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought Lewin was up here. Child Probably dealt with the, the or with the orcs up here. So, let's give it a shot, shall we? See if we have anybody that we can recruit. No, nobody we can recruit yet. I'm going to do a tactical save. Oh. Because I feel like they might have just enough men to make it a interesting battle. Do they have any allies? No, they're just at war with the Black Pit. If I take Marienburg from them, it'll probably cripple them. That's what I thought. Valiant defeat. I thought they had a decent garrison. Alright, we'll, uh, we'll encourage them to, to sally out. Because we probably would lose a little bit too many guys that I'm, that I'm comfortable with because we do want to keep the momentum going but since they only have one army we can kind of trap them here in Marienburg starve them out a little bit um, all right so now that we upgraded Ubstract Brunberg I feel like we could use a smithy and we already have our fields over here and the gra grazing pastures here is good. 
Hmm. Could get a tap room. That'll help. That'll get us a witch hunter. Witch hunters are, are decent heroes. Hmm. I feel like I'm going to invest in a blacksmith. And then in this one, we do have the Red Moon Inn. That adds walls to the settlement. I'm going to get a weaving house. Increase our income a little bit. Alright, let's look at our diplomacy. What? Sterling. I will listen, but my time. Mm. Yes? Uh, Osterland. Ostermark, I think, can. Welcome, my there we go. Get a trade I agreement. Will. Military access. Who calls? Nordland. Approach as friend and make your offer. Just a non-aggression pack. Better than nothing. Because we want to try to keep them. Not fight it. We want, don't want to fight ourselves. Ready? Trading with the dwarves will be very, very profitable once we can do it. <laughs> we are trading with Katarin. Alright. Alright, so... Let's, uh... Yes, my lord. Could, could try to build him up. Or built. I don't think Helmgard's gonna need it. Alright, let's keep going. The hope is that they'll sally out and make it a lot easier to, to, to wipe them. But I don't think they have another army out there. If they do and we see it, then we'll just have to fight it. And we'll have no choice. The smart play here would be to try to weaken their army a little bit before we go in making a Pyrrhic victory because um, sieges in this game are notoriously difficult for the attacker. And they've been like this ever since Warhammer 1 and um, it's got no no hope of ever of ever going away completely. They did, they did rework it to where it's not as grueling but you're still going to definitely lose troops just just due to towers and stuff that is pretty much indestructible and unavoidable. So it's always best to try to cause attrition on, on the army just a little bit, like a few turns, and then to push the attack. And if I choose to fight it when it's a Pyrrhic victory, I'll probably be able to, to make it a close. But then again, sieges are very difficult, especially early on, because you don't have any heavy artillery. I mean, the mortars are, are decent, but they're not going to really cause a lot of damage, and your your troops are so... Um, I don't want to say weak, because they're not technically weak, but 30 armor is just not enough to defend against those those walls. And this is a tier 3, so that means he gets, uh, gets quite a bit of a garrison. Um, but I feel like after a couple turns, it'll be an easier victory, and we'll we'll push it after then. Ooh, we got a caravan coming from Cathay. All right, so we're just gonna keep an eye on the elector counts. I don't see any that are in the red, other than uh, Wissenland here. Um, but we should be having a base chance to increase them. But uh, yeah, if we get a milk von Corden and the Count of the right, Wasteland. We kick, if we kick him out, then um, then we'll get uh, a nice a nice off badge of office and the Outriders, the Bordermen. Grenade launcher Outriders are, are okay. <laughs> they're, they're not the best cavalry unit, it is time. but they're you can you can pull off a clutch victory with them because they have. Their, their grenade launchers are kind of a secret weapon. They sound they sound very formidable, but in practice they're not as formidable as they would be. So if you overextend them, th they'll get des decimated. But um, I usually don't use them. I don't use them or pistoliers because missile cavalry, um, it's good for a skirmishing army, but the Empire's armies that they face, are um, they can catch them really 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 easily and you know I don't I don't want a chance that you know I, I click 
<clears throat> that I click my uh, pistol leaders or, or, or outriders to move somewhere and their AI takes a second. Alright, here's the uh, events I was talking about. The defense of, uh, of, of an elector count. So we could hire some mercenaries against beastmen, send scouts, and then we'll lose fealty, or do nothing, and they'll find it on their own. We could send a military force. I, since I have quite a bit of prestige, I'm going to hire nearby mercenaries, and then it'll trigger a battle, and um, I could choose to fight it, but since it's not my settlement, I'm just going to auto-resolve it. I only fight it if it's like a valiant defeat, because I can turn the tide. Um, pretty easy army to, to, to beat up, and I actually recruited some pretty good guys. I I don't know if it's for, if it's sh for sure, but it seems like the um, when you pick the higher mercenaries, you get a little bit better units. So if I had done like out of my own treasury, I probably would have had lesser units and would have been a Pyrrhic. So I'm going to auto-resolve it, get some treasury back, and um, boom, Midland has uh, extra fealty. And you increase the ability up. Once it reaches 10, they'll offer to confederate. You will want to keep your prestige up at least a thousand so you can accept the confederation and not have to go up negative. Alright, Festus. Ooh. Yeah, he's got some. It's kind of a plethora of units right now, so we'll want to beat him out fast. Because if we don't, then he'll probably take out. Um, Midland. So I'm going to try to build up this army here. I got a fat stack of cash from that battle. And we do have um, some better units here. Um, crossbowmen are infinitely better than archers. Because even though they don't have as much missile strength. Oh, wait. Huh, I guess. I mean, they have better range, though. And these guys are weak against armor. They have more armor piercing. Still not the best. But they'll do. And they have more armor. Wait, no, they have the same armor. Shit. <laughs> it's been a while since I've since I've played Empire, so I don't really know their, uh, their tweaks. They must have tweaked to the crossbowmen. I think they have more... Um, more uh, armor piercing though, even though they're not technically armor piercing. <sighs> Alright, so we'll recruit five of those. I do have Empire Knights, which are, are going to be a decent cav unit for me. Four turns and I can get the Caribur Greatswords. I'm going to put the I'm going to put them in uh, Franz's army though. Let's see here. So he's got a bartered horse. I'll get Arcane Conduit. It's always good to get. And then... I don't do... Um, uh, I'll do uh, boost income. You know, income action. The income will be bonified more. Uh, you, can, you can send heroes around the map just doing like um, a local effect or something. Um, like some folks just have heroes just kind of sitting, you know. Alright, so Altdorf, we're going to upgrade it to a tier 3. And then Elahart next turn. The garrisons are buffed up. Alright. Yeah, we're going to keep him just there, because he, he kind of just serves as protection from the south, because we do have Grom the Paunch and his broken axe starting, stirring up trouble in uh, <coughs> in Bretonia down here, and we do have um, Bring me flesh to craft. yeah, we do have Kemmler and his folks down here as well. So, keeping these forts is essential to keeping these enemies of the Empire out. The last fort we have is Fort Sol down here. Um, and then you have Blackfire Pass. But, you know, 
my, my goal is to eventually take out, well, and once I take Marienburg out and gain that port, because the Marienburg port is very valuable. Once I take that, then I'm going to take the orcs out of Black Pit and then try to kick Festus out, because he is going to cause the most problems. Now, I like Festus. He's probably, Nurgle is my favorite um, chaos god. So I will do a campaign as Festus as well, but his campaign is a little difficult for this reason because if he lets the uh, Empire build up too much, then um, then they'll destroy him. All right, so now let's see how how close they are. Okay, so it's a close victory now. Eh, I'll just auto resolve it. And we'll, okay, I can return it to the Elector. No, I'm going to occupy it. Alright, we got a couple of regiments we're now not locked. I am Prince and Emperor. Oh, no, don't want to abandon it. No, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. Alright, so you see the Marienburg port, the docks. That's a lot of income. And then once you get up to tier, tier 5... The lot of income growth and the, the trade bonus from tariffs is insane. So it's going to really help my economy to have Marienburg. Alright, so now I'm going to invest in uh, getting him some more health and upping his melee attack. Ready! I could just get one of these guys. The Sigmar Sons are unbreakable. They have magic resist. The Death Jacks. They have stock. Nah. <sighs> I think I'm just going to wait. The Weaving House farm and the clother and then we'll get the livestock pens there, there's going to be a lot of development going on in 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 um in Reichland. all right <coughs> so now that we've taken marienburg my next port of call is to take the uh the fort secure the border and then go up through the wasteland and take the smaller settlements. And then from there, um, I'm going to try to build up some better units so I can take on the Greenskins and then eventually Festus. Nurgle, dealing with Nurgle is going to be a little little different than dealing with uh, the Beastmen or the other Empire because... Um, I'll side with Ostermark. Ooh, there we go. Our armor for infantry units has just has just popped, so that's going to buff up my my guys quite a bit. It's going to help out a lot. So, all right, let's see if we can take Fort Bagres this turn. We'll go on to Gorsal and then Amu and Wreckers Point. Um, there's probably an army there in Wreckers Point, so we're going to have to be careful as we go up there. We'll get a die mining pit. Let's see if we can take it. Or maybe we're to... Ah, Pyrrhic victory. I really don't want to fight this, because I, I know it's a fort. Yeah, I'm going to circle it. Armor for cavalry units. State-issued weapons. Great heavy weapons. I think uh, state issued weapons. Good. I want to focus on buffing up our troops right now. Who calls? Hunters. All right, let's end turn. Now our our battle is probably going to be either Fort Bagres 
Um, I'm hoping not. I'm hoping that I can fight a battle against an Imperial fact against something that's not an Imperial faction. Okay, into my non-aggression. I didn't even know I had that with them. <sighs> I'm hoping to fight one that's not an Imperial faction this episode. <laughs> Just because, you know, I I'm, I'm sour fighting Imperials. Because uh, that's not what we're meant to do as the Empire. Unfortunately, sometimes that's what you have to do. Ooh, a caravan! Caravans are always nice. Get a little bit of bit of the uh, the spoils back from that. Help us develop a little bit better. I will marshal the men. All right. Let's get our swordsmen. Six swordsmen. We'll have. Four of those, and then four of those. And then that'll be an extra army for us to throw at the enemy. Huntsman General. All right. Not seeing Marienburg's extra army, but they have to have one up there. They're probably coming back down. I think after two turns, I should be able to take the fort. Uh, Lewin's down there fucking up uh, Kemmler's day. I will hear what you have to say. Uh, really? I sure hope he doesn't launch an army at my fort. Probably will. Why is he attacking me? Don't know why these Bretonians are attacking me. I mean, he's got trebuchet, but all he's got is men at arms and they're pretty weak. Men, I will fight with you. Boost income. Oh wait, no, no. Let's boost up his uh, earth blood and his regrowth. See how it looks. Close victory. I'll take it. Let's get some replenishment. What? I'll get uh, death jacks, and then next turn I'll get the Garber great swords. Huntsman General. I get him, Sigmar's sons, and he'll recruit another uh, or bowman. All right, let's do um, Council Burgermeisters. All right, so next um, we're going to send Carl up through the wasteland. Conquering as he goes, and I'll probably play a battle either at Gorsal or uh, um, <coughs> Arnau, just so that we can have a battle today. Because I, I know I've been doing the <laughs> I, I've been doing the cheap way out of you know starving them out, but I just wanted to keep my army somewhat together because it, it it sucks when you have to give them make them wait you know to replenish. All right, let's hope that army down there from the Bretonian faction doesn't attack. Um, uh, who knows? Maybe they're at war at Lewin, too. Maybe that's why they attacked me. Spectrodites. Oh, Lewin. What are you doing? Greetings, fellow Osmond. Yeah, I'll have a non aggression pack with you. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he was going to attack. So Nordland is trying to... Okay, so I'll, I'll rally political support. Stop their succession. Alright, that's what I thought. Alright, close this victory. Get out of here. 
talking about. Get out of here. The nation calls. Man, he got so much experience from that. We'll, uh, increase his, um, his shooters. I command here. Alright, then we can get the Caribou Greatswords. There we go. They have unbreakable morale. So, now, yes. we have the fort here. Bring me to my men. Let's uh, upgrade Carl here again, give him devastating charge and full plate. Okay, now. so we're going to go Moving camp at Marienburg. So we can get a little bit extra replenishment before we go attack Gors. There's their army. There's Von Corden right there. There he is. Try to draw him out. Catch him out in the open, and that'll be the battle we fight. Alright, so Altdorf was upgraded. So we can finally get the gunsmith. And then we could also get the Reichsfort, or the Castle Reichsguard, which is going to be something I get. I'm going to get the Court of Battle Wizards and the Imperial Palace. I always try to go for the landmarks, because they give the most bonuses. I don't think I'll get... Nah, not paved roads yet. Alright, we'll skip that. Alright. The nation calls. Then we'll get some Empire Knights. And, uh... Yeah, we'll have them next turn, and then we'll get three more as well. I don't think we'll have enough cash, but hopefully we can catch Emil... <laughs> so that um, we can get some cash from killing him as well. <coughs> Alright, so... Um, I mean, Lewin's right there. I think that's one of his damsels. Uh, non aggression pact. We'll do that with you. Okay, I don't know if he moved. I think he moved closer. No, he moved to Gorsell. Okay. Allow expansion. That way Nordland has five. Alright. Um, Gorsell is still only level two, level one. So he's got... Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 13. By the I got 20 stack. I mean, if I wait one turn, I'll I'll be fully healed up. And he yes. will too. I'll mostly fully healed up. I will not obey. Absolutely not. So eight plus thirteen means he's got one more unit than me, but I do have better units than him. So, oh, I can't even can't even reach him. So I'll just go to the corner here. Let's go. I am France. They will obey. We'll get our encampment, and we'll get close to him, causing him some debuffs. So? Hopefully. We'll be able to cause um, cause him to uh, sally out and attack us. All right, two Empire Knights. And we're going to continue to uh, outfit this army. Two seventeen. Oh no, it's gonna put me under. Mm, do I have anything? Yeah, I guess pistoliers. I don't like pistoliers, but whatever. I'll still be in the in the negative, I think. What? I think. Yeah, so we'll I'll I'll, uh, I'll, I'll hold off what does the until I can get mean? more um until I can get more uh money. I'll hold off. He's already got a a nice army there, and I have access, so I could still get them close. The Empire. All right. Well, 
Maybe I can recruit a general here to help. Uh, oh, he looks nice. Imperious. Monster Tracker. Regal. Tough. Disciplined Weapon Master. I'll do Imperious. To strengthen the Empire. Uh, uh, he's too, too much. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. You're too much. We'll be able to recruit him again once we have uh, enough cash, everyone. So, uh, so we're gonna fight Cord in here. That'll be our battle for the day. Um, I try to get at least one battle in. Some episodes will have more than one, but I try to get at least one in because, um, again, that's that's what folks like. Greetings. Oh, you're gonna try to piece me? Nope. I ain't taking that, Corden. You're going to be destroyed here. I'm going right up to you. That will be gone. Okay. Lost land. Prestige. Now yeah, hire nearby mercenaries. Alright. Yeah, that's good. Destroy them. Get me some XP and more prestige back. Got a lot of cash. Is it time? All right, I think we're good. Let's go no attack option. Corsell. Let's see what the odds are. Pyrrhic victory. Let's see if we can change that, shall we? All right, let's quick save. Tactical quick save. Now they only have one cav unit. It's the Outriders with well, just regular Outriders. So they're going to be the the ones that we're going to want to focus on with the mortar and uh, try to run down with the Reichsguard. But you know they have a lot of missile units, uh, so do we. Um, but we do have hev some heavily armored units that are really going to turn the tide because they don't have any great swords. Um. They do have Cordon. I think they all fight at once because I attack the settlement. So, let's see the terrain. No, they don't fight at once, so they do have enemies coming out. They might garrison that hill, and that'll make it difficult. But I'm going to draw them out. I'm going to try to draw them out first, because I have heavy artillery. Heavy artillery. They have heavy artillery. Um, they'll probably will probably do the same thing for a while. But um, see, they don't know that the AI doesn't know what units to target. I do. I know the high value units they have, and the only ones they have that are very high value are the Outriders and the Mortar itself. All right. So, oh, oh, there's a gully here. I, could have swore that looked like a hill. Okay, so um, I have six seconds till that comes in. So, Standing by. all right, let's get our, um, get our swordsmen up here. Great swords. Get our great swords over here. And I said the great swords are going to just complement the line. Handgunners on the sides. Ready for war. And then the uh, rain, the archers in the back. Life wizard right here. Ready for war. Carl himself in the middle. Alright, we do have these halberdiers as well that are going to be um, serving the same purpose as the um, great swords. Reichsguard and the artillery on the hill. They're not within range. Let's channel magic. Get something good. Ooh, yes! There we go. Renald is with us. Where is their artillery? Their artillery is right there. Okay, so let's move our... Oh! 
Oh, here they come. They got their reinforcements, so they're going to come to us. Okay, so... That's an... That's an enemy uh, commander unit. Move our guys up front. Ready for war. Quick march. Yes, sir. Weapons at the ready. Yes, sir. Quickly. At speed. Moving now. Taking position. To battle! On our way! Watch! To me, man! Alright, so... Just kind of moving up, trying to, to get the first shot off on them. Oh, they're going to get the first shot on off, off on us, I guess. Alright, let's, uh, let's try to move them over here instead. They're gonna get the first shot off on us. Go! Quicker! No lingering! Go! Yes! Ready! To battle! Move the. To battle! Let's move the army down here. I'm gonna take some mortar fire while we're at it. That's not ideal. It's going to give them the advantage. Oh, okay, so they're going to fire at my hand gunners. That's not ideal at all. What do you bid? I'd have to move into range to get fire on them. And they don't have range to attack my force right now, except for with the mortars. So... Once I get my mortars into position, hopefully I can attack them. Let's speed up a little bit, get myself in position. That's This is always the most boring part, is getting into position when you start at a very weak position. Well, our cav is coming around. No, they're not. They're just kind of lining up to make sure they're ready. All right, let's get my mortars to see if I can attack those guys within if I get into with ra within range yes I do okay let's fire on those mortars get them out yeah. oh they're firing my life wizard <laughs> that's pretty easy to negate just pop my life spells dummies. Alright, now they're going to attack. Dum-dums. Alright, that does that. So, now, um, kind of just pop in the gro in, into there. Let's do Awakening of the Wood. There we go. We'll do um, that one and flesh to stone. Weapons at the ready! Take aim! Yes, my lord! Finding range, sir! Yes, sir! Yes, General! Save let's go, fire! let's go get there. Guys were were routed. That's not good. Yeah, that's because of the um, it's because the crossbow Let's focus on them. All right, let's get our get our Reichsguard over here to deal with the flank. Um, 
Okay, let's uh, heal up our guys here. Keep them healed up, topped up. Yeah, let's move those guys out of there. Okay, that's what I thought was going to happen. Okay, take care of them. Deal with these outriders. We can kill Corden. We'll we'll have a we'll have an advantage. Wow. Okay. All right, we have to focus on these crossbowmen. There's too many of them. Focus on these crossbowmen. Way too many. Okay, get the right guard around here. Alright, let's get these guys over here. To the spearmen. Alright. Alright, let's go. Let's get them. Alright, that does that does it. Yeah, that does it. Okay. Let's get these guys. Go on, friends, you're on a horse. There goes our life's life wizard, but he's not dead, he's just running. Okay, let's move around. Get to uh these mortars over here with the with the um Reichsguard. Alright. Our main line didn't take many damage, but our, our back line did. Certainly did. All right, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Get these great swords on these archers. All right. Yeah, that's the that's the army loss. That's going to be a victory, boys. Here's the Caribou great swords. Got that slick, slick red, slick red paint. So I wanted to see what their special trait is. Bla bathed in blood. Yeah, it really helps them. Okay. Alright, let's see. Close victory. Hey, I'll take it. That's an upgrade from a Pyrrhic. <laughs> uh, see, they, they targeted my... Uh, my weaker units in the back, which is a good strategy to do. Um, so my, my hand gunners and my missile troops took a bit of a beating, and my jade wizard certainly did, but because <laughs> that was their blunder that they focused the jade wizard, um, I was able to negate all damage that that mortar did. So <laughs> their most damaging units were their, were their uh, crossbowmen. Because again, my main line isn't really defense defense heavy against missiles right now, um, even though they do have their shields. So that, of course, was a bad tactical decision by them as well. Um, but got a close victory instead. Cause still pulled off, a, and that could have been a decisive if I had um, if I had not lost or had to come some troops route like my Jade Wizard there. He's still alive, though. They didn't kill him. They just peppered him a little bit too much, and he ran out of his magic. Again, <laughs> the enemy seems to target heroes more, so um, you can use that as a, as a kind of a cheese to get their most damaging missiles to focus on him, and if it's a life wizard, he could just heal himself back up. Which is exactly what I did. All right, that'll do with that Marienburg army. Marienburg's pretty much done and dusted now because Corden's dead. All of them are dead. Um, we'll uh, we'll loot and occupy. Get myself some some replenishment. Even though that pretty much destroys their garrison. Um, to get a lot of replenishment from that. All right, so now we have his special line, Best of the Empire, and I'll probably do um, the Emperor's Men because that gives him a bonus to great swords. Um, I mean, upkeep is good too. The Emperor's Journey gives him Unbreakable. He's got his Pegasus now, 
and I can upgrade it to increase increase charge bonus and speed. But I'm just gonna wait until he gets Deathclaw in four levels. All right, and we'll upgrade your regrowth and earth blood because again, he's more of a healer. Yeah, those Carolbird great swords did really well, really well. And now they have 125 armor. That's that's insane. Um. I will marshal the men. Let's see. I have, think I have enough now to get a couple more. And I'll do some uh, two more two more knights. All right. I'll I'll be able to take I'm now at Wrecker's Point on next episode, and then we'll have this second army built up, and we're going to go up up north and see... Ooh, uh, Black Pit was already taken down by the, the elves. See, the Wood Elves aren't aren't too much of a, of a bother, because really they are kind of a big deterrent against heavily powered army, armies like, uh, like, like Festus. Um or Norska, or the Beastmen, or anything, because they, they, they fight them, um, and they're they're really good to, to have as an ally, so I might just have them as an ally. I am going to, however, unlock my um, school, my College of Battle Wizards, and then I'll have my, uh, the Empire. my gunsmith done the next time as well, so I'll be able to get hand gunners. Now, the hand gunners didn't perform as well in that last battle. Again, because we were, we're fighting an army that is... Like, the Empire, early on, is pretty much just low armor, so it's not wise to focus on hand gunners, but later on, when I fight Festus, I'm going to need armor piercing. Alright, so, with that, Strat fans, keep it strategic, and I'll see you guys next Friday. Colonel out.